Once again, guys, welcome to Willie's Prop Shop here. <laughs> Anyways, he been getting really far with the Crimson Guard Commander from G.I. Joe. So, I've got the face details done. I, I know you're probably saying it doesn't look like the other one, but what I'm doing is I'm going as the cartoon. If you ever watch the cartoon, as I'm a big fan of it, the cartoon one had a lot of grooves in the front and had these big three squares coming down and then basically the detail in the top was just you know some grooves triangle and a little hubcap or something on the top but i improvised used some styrene sheets of course like any other helmet built you would use styrene of course and i managed to get those as straight as possible and remember this is no 3d printer this is all by hand all done by hand measurements you know so on and so forth but all i got to do now is just finish up some sanding in a few areas and corners and get the helmet done and got this little area here giving me a little bit of trouble but i'm going to handle that today and then as you saw earlier in the video that i posted in the rpf the eye section which is the visor is perfectly aligned so when you put the helmet on your eyes are going to be basically right in here, which is what I wanted to capture, which is very important because if no visibility, it just makes it a really bad helmet. But other than that, it's a really wonderful job that I've done here, I would say so, in capturing the details from a cartoon based on reality. So, you can take that. But, uh,. Other than that, I'll primer it up and see where all the defects are besides, which I already know the defects, is pretty much this ear section right here is where I got a lot of defect. But other than that, these are some areas I filled in, you know, a couple of areas, little potholes there. Just like any helmet you would bond there, you would get some potholes when you sand it down. But other than that, it's very nice. I'll, I'll fill in these little gaps with a little bondo, of course, and then, you know, trim it to fit. And but other than that, it's uh, it's really wonderful. I also have a seamstress on the works right now as we speak. So I'm going to try to finish this up by the end of next week and mold it and pretty much cast one for myself and uh, paint it and everything and show you what it looks like when it's painted and all. I'll do my best, of course. But I just hope you guys enjoy and uh, I'll be casting them up, you know, a limited run like always because who knows how long the mold will hold and keep its shape but I hope it does last long because I, I have many plans to do variety of helmets different paint schemes and you know do like a couple of versions different schemes but other than that I'm very happy with this result and I've been working my butt off for the past you know about six months or so but it's coming along it's not easy work it takes time and dedication and love and passion for the hobby of course like any other hobby you have to take time and patience and at the end, it's very rewarding because you mold it and you get your first cast and all your hard work pays off. Especially when you get the final product, which is what you want it to look like and as best you can. You do your best. But I'm very happy and I hope you guys enjoy it. And, and hopefully next week we'll be having some casting of it. So thank you guys and the RPF guys for all your comments and your encouragement and lots of info on how to finish the helmet. Thank you so much, and um, looking forward to uh, building the whole costume and everything. So, all right, have a good day, guys.